Hey guys, welcome back to another pickups video, this time for the month of May of 2014, which was my birthday month. And oddly enough, I did not receive any uh, games as gifts, but I did get a lot of um, gift cards and other things that uh, helped me fund some of the games that I bought this, this month because May was a crazy month. There were a lot of high profile releases that I really wanted to get. So um, I did get a bunch of new releases and I also got a big ticket item that I'm gonna be showing at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. But uh, I'm gonna start with this game right here, Mario Golf uh, World Tour for the Nintendo 3DS. This was released early in the month and I do have an impressions video. So make sure to check that out if you wanna hear my extended thoughts on this game. But Basically, you cannot go wrong with this game. It's a very fun arcade type of golf game developed by Camelot. They have a lot of experience making uh, fun golf games, so you cannot go wrong with this game. Um, it has a lot of uh, content and the online features are very, uh, very good, so there's a lot of replay value in this game despite not having many courses as previous games. And in fact, if you want to play more courses, you have to pay for the DLC, but the core game itself has a lot of content to keep you busy for easily 20 hours. So uh, Mario Golf World Tour, a, a very solid game and a very fun title for the Nintendo 3DS. Next up I have a game that I wasn't sure if I was going to get it on day one or not, but Best Buy had some, uh, some very good deals on this game. They gave a lot of uh, rewards points and, and stuff like that. And that game is Wolfenstein for the PlayStation 4. I just finished this game like two days ago and so expect to see an impressions video going up pretty soon for this game but let me just say that if you like first person shooters go get this game right now because this game is absolutely fantastic it's really fun and uh, the gunplay is really satisfying it's just a fun play uh, fun game to play and if you like first person shooters where whether they are old school or modern first person shooters I think you're gonna find a lot of enjoyment out of this game so expect to see an impressions video um, on Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein the new order for the PlayStation 4 coming up pretty soon a fantastic game I do not regret getting this on day one it was uh, it was a very very fun title so Wolfenstein for the PS4 next up was my most hyped release of the month and probably one of the most hyped releases for, for the year if you ask me and that game is Mario Kart 8 for the Nintendo Wii U I was eagerly waiting for this game it came out at the end of the month on May 30 and again I have an impressions video on this so if you want to hear my extended thoughts go check it out but simply put this game is absolutely fantastic uh, I beat this game really quick it took me about three hours to beat all the cups but this is the type of game that you keep going back, back to it just because it's so much fun, the graphics are great, this is one of the best, if not the best looking game of this new, new generation. It's colorful, it's rich, it's crisp, it runs at 60 frames per second, this game is a joy to play and not to mention the online works great. Uh, we had a really a great time with the people from the Another Gaming Podcast, um, they had a game night which uh, uh, you know, we, we all play this game right here and the online works great. It's really fun and the replay value of this game is through the roof with all the unlockables and just the online modes. So Mario Kart 8, a must have if you have a Wii U, a fantastic game. Um, let's see, next up we have a new release. Actually this game came out in, I think in April, so it's not a May new release. But uh, it's a 2014 FIFA World Cup game. Again, I have an impressions video on this game. I would not recommend this game uh, at full price just because it has less content than the mainline FIFA games. So, but uh, uh, the, the gameplay is very satisfying. It feels a little bit different. The, the physics are heavier and they feel just overall more realistic. So a pretty fun title, but I would recommend if you guys are interested to wait a little bit before the game drops in price. So. Uh, the 2014 FIFA World Cup game for the for Brazil, so pretty fun title, uh, pretty fun soccer game. Now, now we're gonna move into the not new releases uh, or you know older releases. I do have a Wii U game right here, and that is uh, Deuce or De Deuce as EX. Or I don't know how do you pronounce this, but I've heard so many good things about this game, and uh, this is a director's cut. 
I have never played a game in this series, so um, again, I've heard a lot of good things about this game and I picked up the Wii U version because it was pretty cheap and also I've heard that it makes uh, really good use of the gamepad, gamepad functionality, so decided to pick this up uh, and uh, I guess I'll see how the game uh, is. And um, it's a little bit odd because this is the first Wii U game that I have that the spine doesn't have the white, like regular color. So I thought that was um, that was interesting, I guess. So uh, Deus Ex uh, EX for the uh, director Scott for the Wii U. Next up is a game that I had to travel 200 plus miles to get it. On Memorial's Day, uh, we went on a trip to St. Augustine in Florida, and uh, I decided to check the local game stops in that area because all of my local game stops, I went to like three or four different of the uh, different game stops in my area, do not have this game, and that is the Wolfenstein, the 2009 uh, reboot uh, for the PlayStation 3. As soon as I started playing Wolfenstein: The New Order for the PS4, I knew that I had to get this game. Um, and it's kind of funny because this game was available at, at my local GameStop for, GameStop for the longest uh, time. But uh, I, apparently this game is somewhat kind of uncommon or rare to get. So uh, I went to all my local GameStop, they were all sold out, I guess because of the hype of the new game coming out. So uh, when, when, we, when we went out for vacation, <laughs> Um, I went to the local GameStop uh, from that city and luckily they, they had a, a copy of this game. So I'm looking forward to playing this game. It's not supposed to be as good as the, uh, the new release, but uh, uh, it's uh, an old school type of first person shooter. So I think it's going to be fun and I'm really glad to have this in my collection. If you guys see this game, I would recommend it. I would recommend for you guys to get it because it's becoming kind of rare apparently. So uh, Wolfenstein 2009 for the PlayStation 3. And the next bunch of games, uh, Toys R Us, they are having a crazy clearance. They're pretty much wiping out all of the last gen games. So I did pick up a bunch of PlayStation 3 titles. The first of which is Resident Evil Revelations. I already own this for the Nintendo 3DS, but I'm a huge Resident Evil fan, so decided to get this one. This is the HD version, and uh, uh, I'm looking forward to playing this game again. Uh, I already beat this game on the 3DS, but uh, I had a lot of fun with this game, so I decided to pick up the PlayStation 3 versions. Like I said, Toys R Us, they, they're clearing out their old, the older games, so I got this for less than $10, so I'm happy to add this to my Resident Evil collection. Uh, another game that I picked up for really cheap, under $10, is um, Sleeping Dogs, which is a an open world uh, type of game similar to Grand Theft Auto. I don't know too much about this game, except that the people that have played this game have, uh, have very positive uh, things to say about it. So, looking forward to playing Sleeping Dogs at one point or another, so glad to have that in my collection. Another game, another first person shooter, uh, available for really cheap. Doom 3, uh, the BFG edition, again, it was cheap on Toys R Us, and this is a really good deal because I believe this game has classic Doom and also Doom 3, which is a newer version, like a remastered version, so you can play the classic Doom games plus Doom 3, um, so I'm really happy to have this in my collection because I love old school uh, first person shooters, I, I, I like all kinds of first person shooters to be honest, uh, and we all know that Doom is a staple uh, in the genre so very happy to have this and I'm looking forward to playing this game and lastly but not least we have Dead Space 3 again this is another game that I got for cheap on Toys R Us and uh, I do have the trilogy now I finished the first Dead Space I have Dead Space 2 which I picked up not too long ago and now I have Dead Space 3 so at one point or another hopefully I'm gonna get to finish uh, the second and the third one um, to complete the trilogy. I have not heard too many good things about this game. Apparently the newer Dead Space games are more action based than survival horror uh, based so uh, a lot of the fans of the series uh, don't have many good things to say about this game, but nevertheless, um, the first game had a pretty inter interesting story, so I'm looking forward to playing the second and eventually the third um, entry in the series. And the last item, like I, like I said before guys, it's a, I guess, a major or big ticket item. 
um, decided to treat myself for my birthday and Groupon out of all the uh, retailers out there had a very uh, I guess good deal if you will on this thing right here the uh, Neo Geo X Gold a system that I really wanted to get at launch but uh, decided not to do it and I'm kinda glad I didn't do it because he, this is a not a not very good handheld um, I guess emulation device for Neo Geo games um, the the emulation is far from from far from good but again it was a very good deal on Groupon so I decided to get this I love the box I have to say that the presentation is top-notch reminds me of the uh, consoles in the 90s when you know they had all the screenshots from games in the back but uh, presentation wise it's uh, pretty good and it came with the uh, docking station which resembles an AES system and the way it works is that you open this thing right here and you put your Neo Geo X handheld inside and you can connect this uh, through a HDMI um, cord and you can play the games on your TV so again presentation wise uh, pretty nice and uh, it also came with uh, Ninja Masters cartridge which I haven't opened it yet and the of course the handheld system which I have right here which comes with 20 preloaded games and this is very light it kind of it feels very cheap to be honest um, it's just I, I don't know I'm not uh, a fan of the manufacturing quality of the of the product but again I got it for a really good uh, price and uh, you know the system feels a little bit cheap to be honest but um, it also came with this thing right here which works with the I believe PlayStation 3 and the PC and that is the arcade stick for the Neo Geo X which resembles the uh, the controller for the AES system uh, it feels pretty good actually I have to say that the build quality does not match the original obviously but seems to be adequate enough to play some fighting games on the PS3 and the PC from what I understand because it's a USB uh, controller so it feels pretty good it's pretty clicky and you know it has the same configuration as the original AES system so uh, uh, this uh, I was actually glad to get this as part of the package obviously and also it came included with this guy right here which is the Mega Pack Volume 1 which is uh, 15 more games like I said the uh, Neo Geo X comes loaded with 20 games and then it comes with the Ninja Master cartridge and then it came with this it was part of the Groupon uh, deal deal and as you can see it has some uh, games like Metal Slug 2, King of Fighters Super Sidekick uh, 3, Top Hunter, World Heroes, Shock Troopers, Sen Goku, and uh, a bunch of other games. And when you open this thing right here, um, it comes with the uh, very interesting uh, manual that has stickers of all the games, which is I thought it was pretty cool actually. Uh, stickers with the logos of the games, and it also comes with a short description of each game. So a very nice color, uh, colored manual and for some reason it comes with this update thing right here it's like a US, mini USB thing that you're supposed to plug in into your Neo Geo, Neo Geo X I don't know what it does I think it's like some kind of firmware update for the system and of course it comes with the uh, cartridge that you put into the system to play the games so pretty cool and pretty pretty nice looking box like it resembles the the box of a Neo Geo AES release it's uh, pretty thick and uh, again presentation wise they did a really good job unfortunately the handheld itself does not do a very good job or a faithful job of emulating the games but for the price that I paid I was pretty happy to add it to my collection so um, uh, you know it, it, it's I'm glad I didn't get the system on day one as far as digital purchases PlayStation Plus games I got I don't even know what was released last month I think um, stick it to the man for the PlayStation 4 which is a pretty fun um, uh, kind of like a platformer and uh, I you know to be honest it, when, whenever they release PS Plus games I purchased uh, purchased them all so they're on my list um, so I did get all the PlayStation Plus releases for the month of um, May for the US so uh, but Steam wise I, I don't think I purchased anything so that's about it really 
So that wraps up my pickups for the month of May. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.